Every home has dozens of places where moisture and air can penetrate the envelope of the home. If they're not well sealed, these penetrations can reduce the home's energy efficiency and provide opportunities for the spread of rot and mold. Inventor Bill Gilleran has come up with a new design for weatherproof seals that takes an innovative approach to solving the problem. So Bill, how does the system actually work? Well, it's very simple. You simply take the panel, it's a flashing panel, and you push it on over the penetration. In this case, we have a seal-tight flex coming out into an electrical box. What we do is we push the wire through over the seal-tight flex, and you push it up tight against the substrate of the house. Once you get it in position, you simply take two nails and nail it in the upper left and right corner. And with this rubber seal around it, you're not going to have to insulate or caulk or anything? No, it's very simple. It's a weatherproof seal right around the pipe. And the important thing is it's at the building envelope. This is where the seal is against the structure. Okay, and you just put nails on the top. Is that all that's necessary? Yeah, the reason we do that is just to keep it in place. And what we do is it allows you to take this first layer of building paper and apply it underneath the panel. And then what we're going to do is take the second layer of building paper and come across the top. What this does is it creates a shingling effect on the house. Just well, like the roof. Just like the roof. So, totally weatherproofing the structure. Well, there's a lot of other types of protrusions besides electrical and plumbing coming out of a house. Let's go take a look at some of the options there. Let's go. Well, Bill, there's definitely a big variety and even just in sizes, just looking at plumbing alone, a lot of choices. Yes, we have a variety of uh, sizes here. We go from a half inch up to a four inch. Um, in this application, we have a, a gas pipe here. And very common, you see a gas pipe with a cap on it. You don't want to remove the cap. So. No, uh, in the field, it's real nice to you leave the cap on. Simply take our panel and push it on, seals around the pipe. And then it's plenty tight enough that there's not going to be a problem even though Absolutely. we went over a bigger cap? Absolutely. Okay, now here's another common thing. They've sweated your fixture, everything's together, it's sticking out of the wall. Right. How do you go around this? What we have is a two-piece panel which simply comes apart and you apply it over the panel and then back together and it snaps. You apply a small bead of caulk around there. Good. And you're done. And then you get over here to electrical and it looks like any type of box you can go around with the same thing. Yeah, for a, well for example this would be a pancake box four row which would be mounted on the side of a house and it would simply be flashed around with our panel so mounted to the structure. Easy Therefore enough. weatherproof seal around the fixture. And I noticed you have different heights so I take it for different finishes whether it's brick or stucco or anything like yeah, that. Yes, so we came up with a variety of different grounds around the panels to complement the types of exterior finishes you're using via three coat stucco system, one coat stucco system, brick, wood mm -hmm. siding. And I know you got something special on the outside of the electrical box as well here on this house? Yes, at the electrical service panel you got a pipe that comes through the structure and we used a two inch plumbing panel in that case to seal around the pipe itself.